What is going on? Mark Millet from Solar World here, uh, trying to keep you guys updated on all the projects I'm doing. So here I have a welded box tube framed constructed uh, solar rack that is housing 28 solar panels. The panels are bifacial 460 watt uh, SE, SEG series. Um, so basically what this means is bifacial means that the panel is exposed in the back, yielding roughly about 15% more gain on average. Everything is ran into a nine series. There's 28 total. Uh, so that left us kind of a funky number uh, with 27 actually in operations. So we have one here that will eventually be ran down with a PWM or MPPT. For you guys don't know what that is, uh, PWM is pulse with modulator. Basically, it's a poor man's version of a uh, charge controller. Uh, the MPPT allows multi-point power, power tracking. All right, so roughly we have about 12,600 watts of usable energy through this platform. We did come in, like I said, three negatives, three blacks, plus a ground coming in from the top of this junction box. If you can see that here, it is a uh, six by six by six. Uh, coming into an inch and a half conduit strapped to the body of the face. Everything's grounded coming in through roughly about 240 feet. This is where it started getting real treacherous. I did not like this, not one bit. But customer came out here and kicked, uh, kicked ass trying to clear out a good path. We had cut right through here and just keep on going. So, like I said, he chopped down a bunch of trees trying to help us out. Um, the ruts is what really... Mm. So, that's for a different day. Like I said, this customer is a uh, doomsdayer, and I'm very, very excited to be part of this uh, uh, home application. He has no power coming in from the grid whatsoever. So, um, what he's been doing is, as the build has been built, he's been running everything off of a generator. You know, sometimes gas is a little expensive. And uh, this Predator 8750 has been kicking butt, but still it's about $100 a week minimum, right, to run these things. Uh, so we had the PV line coming in from the solar rack way up there. Come down to this three-phase outdoor disconnect. Now we have three inverters, so I just went ahead and just used three-phase outdoor disconnect to be able to do that. Um, let's go ahead and shut the system off. And I have extra fuses here, but uh, basically what we did was we gave him a fusible disconnect for the PV on the outside there. The PV comes back in, goes underneath, poof, the input, and then uh, comes in oh, through the floor right there. So that is the PV for the array. Now the AC power output or uh, coming from the generator itself is going into this outdoor uh, panel, which is running inverter one, two, and three. And then uh, there's an extra uh, uh, L1 and L2 for him to go ahead and run other circuits or anything else. Uh, we did ground this to the, uh, to the original grounding rod as well. Go ahead and close all that up. Show you all on the inside. Okay. In this tight low closet, of course, new construction home, we have uh, the infamous 5,000 watt LS, or ES, uh, sorry, uh, row watt series. Um, go ahead and take the plate off here so you guys can get an idea of what's going on. So we have a uh, PV coming in for uh, uh, positive and negative. Uh, same thing with battery output and input uh, going to the tops of the terminals here. Uh, each inverter is just ran. So the first inverter is battery one. Second inverter is battery three. Uh, last uh, inverter is going to be battery six. So basically two of the batteries are going to be charging separately from the uh, grow out series in conjunction with communication ports, BMSs coming off of slave inverter one. All right, so we have uh, our grounding, which is not a neutral grounding. Um, okay, so this is a, a, an actual ground going to ground. We have L1 and L2, and then the separate input coming in from the generator uh, is going to be this line. So he is grounded to the grounding rod outside. And then this system here for the power output coming from the actual inverter itself is grounded to the panel, which is also grounded to the system itself. So, all right, we'll go ahead and put that cover plate back on. Not a very sunny day whatsoever. 
Uh, we have 67% running on his battery. We're going to go ahead and turn his PV back on. Okay, now, turning PV back on. Okay, as we can tell, we have roughly already, since the system has been installed less than 24 hours ago, roughly 3.3 kW that came off to the PV. Uh, it's registering roughly 200, 300, climbing. And it's doing the ramp up. 500 watts. There we go. About 1,500 roughly coming in. Pretty good. Okay, uh, so this is the 5,000 watt transformer that comes into the uh, uh, situation where you're taking L1 and L2 off of the panel. And then you have to combine that into the neutral side of the output of the grow watt transformer to make 120 volts. Uh, these are standard at 230. And of course, if you play with the, the, the functions enough, you can actually get these to go through three phase and uh, different types of phases. Uh, so it, like I said, it's not very sunny out, so, uh, outside right now. We're already making roughly 600 watts per inverter on average. All right, the most exciting part of the video, I wanna go ahead and show you uh, what we have in store. All right, so here is the uh, doomsday bunker that we have set up here. Uh, thank you, sir. So we're gonna come down roughly about four feet or so. All right. So inside, this man is fully prepared, ready to go in every which way that you can possibly imagine and store, storing, or still storing as we're going. So over here, it looks like we have uh, ReadyWise uh, food supplies, 30 day buckets here, plenty of those gas mask, MRE sitting here, um, bulletproof vests. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, what is this? Uh, chest heel? Holy crap. So, okay. We got medic. We have uh, survival uh, tactics. We have weapons and we're all set up for basically doomsday zombie apocalypse. All right. Uh, this has been an interesting battle out in the woods and I'm in love with it. Thank you for another satisfied customer. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to answer or feel free to ask. Um, but other than that, thank you. God bless.